The next critical element in a community food system is sharing, making the connections that link to producers and the consumers. Multiple direct marketing outlets exist for farmers, including farmers markets, community supported agriculture, farm to school and other institutional sales, plus sales to restaurants and more. We'll focus on outlets that require support from an organization, starting with one of the oldest forms of direct marketing, the farmer's market. This face-to-face -face encounter with the consumer offers a number of advantages. Because there's no distributor or grocer taking a share of the profits, farmers gain the full economic benefit of every sale. They have the opportunity to interact with customers to help educate them about local food and food systems, build loyalty and get product feedback, develop a community with other farmers, and establish business relationships with chefs and buyers for institutions. And now that consumer demand is growing for fresh local foods, farmers markets are more viable than ever. Direct sales of farm products have increased dramatically since the 1990s. Data collected by the USDA Census of Agriculture show that direct food sales rose 30 percent between 2002 and 2007 when adjusted for inflation. The number of farms selling direct also increased 17 percent over the same period, an indicator of public demand as well as interest in the community food movement. Farmers markets play a key role in a community food system by providing access to fresh affordable food, contributing to consumer knowledge and skills through crop information from farmers, as well as on-site cooking demonstrations, and preserving cultural traditions by providing food consistent with local tastes. The farmers market in Brownsville offers a great example. I think the Brownsville Farmers Market has benefited the community in a number of ways, but one of the biggest is the presence of a healthy option that has now become the, a center of discussion. And we would recommend it to other communities for changing your environment to promote vegetables and fruits in a healthy lifestyle. Communities are starting to come together and try to increase access to fruits and vegetables within their own communities because they realize there's a problem and they want to be part of the solution. Brownsville Market ha hecho pero bastante cosas buenas. Y mucha gente deben de aprender o maybe haya más grupos para que aprendan lo que ellos están haciendo para hacerlo en otros lugares para gente pobre también, para que aprendan y, y sepan que hay muchas cosas allá afuera. Mucha buena comida. Like any other business, the process of starting a farmer's market is fairly complex. From determining feasibility among both farmers and customers, to setting up the facility and managing and marketing it. Some good places to start are the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Farmers Market Coalition, both of which have detailed guides to starting a farmers market. Just click on the resources link to find helpful information. Many farmers markets ensure access to healthy, local food by accepting SNAP, WIC, and Seniors Farmers Market Nutrition Program benefits. Sustainable Food Center offers detailed information on the process for setting up a SNAP Farmers Market Program starting with the USDA application process, then setting up your procedures, acquiring electronic benefits transfer equipment and other supplies, and targeting SNAP users with outreach and promotions. In addition to farmers markets, farm to institution programs play an important role in a community food system. The cafeteria operations at schools Universities, hospitals, and other institutions provide stable markets for small and mid-scale farmers. Because they know their fresh produce needs well in advance of the growing season, these operations allow farmers to plan efficiently. In return, institutions gain a steady flow of fresh, locally grown food. Plus, it provides an opportunity to support the local economy and sustainable farming practices. 
Schools in particular can benefit in multiple ways from a direct relationship with local farmers. Lancaster ISD, for example, purchases local products from existing distributors and grower cooperatives, conducts in-class nutrition and health education, and offers farm tours to students in eight local schools from elementary to high school. The Sustainable Food Center, through their Farm Direct program, has helped organize several successful projects that facilitate the delivery of local farm products to cafeterias and institutions. Institutions interested in starting a program should first check with local farmers to make sure there's enough capacity to meet their needs. Institutions should then design their menu around local and seasonal foods. Next, they should set up an online ordering system of gathering product information from farmers and placing orders. The final step is to develop a system to handle administrative functions, such as invoices and payments to farmers. Sustainable Food Center can offer its online ordering and invoicing web portal to other groups on a fee-per-use basis and can assist with other processes as well. Learn more by clicking the resources link. Sustainable Food Center advises farmers who want to participate in institutional sales to assess their products and processes to determine which crops they grow well and how much they can deliver. Then, they review their distribution and administrative processes to make sure they can meet the needs of institutions. Farmers should have a way to share product availability information, receive orders, create invoices, reliably deliver a quality product, and follow up with customer service. Farmers should also be aware of and research product liability insurance and food safety requirements for each institutional sales outlet. And finally, farmers should create connections with potential customers and form relationships with buyers and supporters. Another direct outlet that's growing in popularity is the Farm to Work program, which saves consumers a trip to the market by bringing fresh produce to their workplace. Like the program which services a half dozen state agencies including the State Comptroller's Office near the Texas Capitol. Through this partnership between Department of State Health Services and Sustainable Food Center, customers use the online system to order and pay for a basket of fresh local vegetables. The following week, the farmer brings the produce to a designated spot on the premises on the specified delivery day and time. Customers arrive to claim orders during their pickup window and transfer their orders into bags for the trip home. Then the farmer collects the bins for reuse on the next trip. The appeal of such a program, of course, is the convenience of the delivery, as well as the cost savings of buying direct from the farmer. Plus, the farmer can keep costs low, knowing that the product is sold before it's harvested. A great resource for setting up such a program is the Farm to Work Toolkit. Click on the resources link to access the toolkit. The process requires a number of steps, such as determining who will coordinate the program at the site, finding a farmer who can provide ample volume and quality, picking a delivery site on the property, establishing a simple order payment system, and promoting the program. As you can see, there are numerous direct marketing outlets for farmers and many resources available to help make those connections. Next, we'll look at the final component of a community food system, PREPARE.